Hola, como esta? Welcome to Pritchard's proper vegan cooking. We're gonna juggle my shoes to start the day. Boom! Today I am gonna be cooking a green lentil cottage pie. Onion, courgette, carrots, green, orange, yellow pepper, not colorblind, tin of tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, green lentils for my good friend Gareth and his family at the Spice of Life in Cardiff. What a proper shop, what a proper dude. Vegan bullion as well. Bay leaves, smoked paprika, and uh, tomato puree. Uh, and to top it, we'll be piping some potatoes. I'm trying to do some posh piping on the top. Stick it in the oven and uh, get, a nice, get a nice crust on top of the mash, ready to serve. And drink with a lovely glass of Chateau Neuve de Pape. Cut the garlic. Nice thin slices. What you not cutting? What you don't cut your fingers? Ah, ah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Only joking. <laughs> You're meant to be concerned. Uh, you just started laughing. Trips here, the onion. I do like red onions raw. Oh man, they are absolutely gorgeous. I'd eat this, I'd say, on a lovely winter's night by the fire with my dog. Keep me nice and warm. It's a winter warm, I'd say. Perfect if you've been out, especially if you've been on the, out on the bike all day in the pissing down rain or the cold. And cut the peppers up. You can uh, cut them up, cut them up as fine as you want. And a courgette. And the carrots. We're gonna go and transfer over to the uh, to the stove and start cooking this off before we start adding the rest of the ingredients. Stick all that in. Whoa, yes, that smells beautiful. When you put the stock in, the lentils will soak up the stock and then cook, cook the lentils. This should be enough. Always. Uh, Always keep your eye on the veg because if you don't keep your eye on the veg, it's going to stick the bottom of the pan. Oh, I just chucked the potato. <laughs> ah! Yeah, it'll just stick the bottom of the pan or burn. Even if you get like the burn bits of the bottom of the pan, it doesn't matter. You can just deglaze it with with a wine or something like that. When you see normal recipes, the, they'll they'll give you the, the measurements and all that kind of stuff, fluid ounces of stock and. I, I don't really cook like that. I literally just I just go freestyle. I just chuck in and I just go with it. Just go by feel, really. Just watch, watch, taste, and see what everything's doing. Whilst the uh, stuff is frying in the background, I'm just going to cut some fresh tomatoes. I just like to add some fresh tomatoes into the sauce. Bring some more juice to the uh, sauce. Drop them in. Hear them sizzling away. Got the green lentils and I've got the, the tin tomatoes to add as well. Let's get some uh, salt and pepper in, some Himalayan salt. I'd say I'd leave, leave this mixture simmering for 10 to 15 minutes until you've seen everything's cooked. Again, depending on how, how much you like your vegetables, crispy or properly cooked. I like, I like to have a bit of a crunch in my vegetables, so I don't like to overcook them too much. And don't forget, this is going to be in the oven as well, so it's going to be cooking in the oven. It's going to be cooking on all the juices and everything, so it's also going to be cooking in the oven. I'm going to add the tin tomatoes. Now I'm going to add the stock. I'd say put I'd say dessert spoon of uh, tomato puree in there. Be careful with the lentils, because the lentils are going to soak up all the juices. So depending on how much juice is in there, but then you can also add, you, you, you can, if you see it soaking up again, a little, bit, a little bit too dry, you can add a little bit more hot water. Right, that's bubbling away nicely. Take this on. Let that simmer away for a bit until we add to the casserole dish. When the potatoes are done, we'll mash the potatoes and we'll put the potatoes on the top. Stick it in the oven. You want the potatoes to be really soft because at the end of the day, they're going to be mashed potatoes. So you want them to be as soft as possible. I can add a little bit of smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. It gives that lovely smokiness to the, uh, to the dish. Don't put too much of this in. If you put too much of this in, I did that mistake once. My God alive, it tasted absolutely putrid. Put a little, 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 bit, little bit in. 
end of the dessert spoon. And that's enough just to get that nice little smoky kick to the back of the back of the throat. And I'm gonna add in a bay leaf as well, or two bay leaves. And mix it all in and let that bad boy simmer away. We need to pipe this potato onto the top of the sauce. Well, like this is uh, for decorating cakes, but of course, it's still pipe and stuff. These are disposable ones, really good. When I was in college, we used to have like cotton ones. Uh, and after a while, even though you wash them and stuff, they just get a bit grubby. Need a little piping thing for the end. Just stick that into the bottom. And then just plug the potato in there and, and we're done. Masher to mash. And because we are vegan, some coconut and almond uh, dairy free spread. If you wanted to, you can make the, um, the potato, a cheesy potato. When, when I started becoming vegan uh, two years ago, every time you say to people, but what about cheese? I just like, I mean, I used to like cheese, but it wasn't so, it wasn't that much of a big deal. But then I went to buy some vegan cheese. It was, some of it tasted like rubber. Some of it just tasted what well, it wasn't even like cheese. But uh, Sainsbury's have bought out um, the free from range, and they've got smoked cheese, mature cheddar, and uh, blue cheese. And I'm not joking; they are absolutely amazing. And you can tell now, like since I, I added the uh, green lentils earlier, now they've been in here for quite a while. You can see they're starting to get bigger and bigger. And obviously, they're taking in the sauce and the juice and stuff. So loosen it up a little bit more. Got the right consistency there. You don't want the mash too runny, because when you pipe it out, it's just going to sink into the pie, and it's just going to look, it's just going to look like a mash. You need a, a, a little, you need it thick, but not too thick. Right, we'll add the sauce to the bowl. Look at that. Smells lovely. It's got a lovely sheen on it. Bang it. Now we need to get this potato in the bag. Woo! Pipe it on. I've always wanted to say this. I preheated it oven at 200 Fahrenheit. <laughs> And I'd say leave it in there for a good, uh, good 45 minutes. And leave it in and wait 45 minutes, make yourself a glass of wine and uh, bon voyage. 45 minutes is up. I know that was quick because it comes straight back on, the power of editing. I'm gonna get my lovely Springer Spaniel oven gloves. I'm gonna see if this kitchen actually smells really nice. So, fingers crossed, the crust on the top of this uh, green lentil cottage pipe is going to be fantastic. If you can hear us panting in the background, that's Lemmy. Oh, yes, it's overflown and everything is looking delicious. Woohoo! Bon voyage, Ivor! Right, Little trusty bits, burnt bits there, but no, nope, that's all good. I'm happy with that. Ladies and gentlemen, Pritchard's. Green lentil cottage pie. Keep it in the pudding. Mmm. Hot. Absolutely banging. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Pritchard's green lentil cottage pie. Enjoy. Recipe at the bottom. Go check it out.